Our vision for the Turks and Caicos Islands is built on three strong pillars, inclusive growth, sustainability, and global competitiveness. From the crystal clear waters of Grace Bay to the historic caves of Middle Caicos, our goal is to ensure that every corner of our island thrives. For us at Experience TCI, we are going beyond Providenciales. And we have so many other products to offer across all of our islands. And our new initiative is we've installed new agents across each island, whereby they can interact with the community, interact with not just small businesses, but be able to meet visitors so they can fully understand what North Caicos, or Middle Caicos, South Caicos, Grand Turk, Sulky, what they have to offer, and how can we grow those sectors into something meaningful, a part of our industry. Discover more at www.turksandcaicostourism.com. The last time the Turks and Caicos electorate headed to the polls, voters had to wear masks and experienced extended hours for voting due to the public health threat of COVID-19. In 2025, when the next general election is expected for the islands, there will be adjustments again. Voting will be electronic. Voters will be selecting a government for five instead of a four-year term, and there will be more candidates on the ballot. These are among the changes on tap for approval in November by the Privy Council. It changes the name of the House of Assembly to Parliament and with effect from the next dissolution of the Parliament, changes the maximum parliamentary term from four to five years and abolishes appointed members of Parliament. On October 17th, in the TCI's House of Assembly, members unanimously supported the constitutional changes, a bipartisan advancement which culminates 10 years of consultations and substantive UK TCI negotiations after the contracting of a specialist attorney to, among other things, restore powers to the elected government and to broaden the cabinet. These amendments have been, as the Premier said, cross-party participation, Mr. Speaker, and I am happy of the work that we have done, Mr. Speaker. As you know, this was long in common. A lot of the work started way before the pandemic, and even before then, Mr. Speaker, and we are happy to reach at this pace, place, Mr. Speaker. While there are still some changes to be made, including a reshaping of constituencies, members, Feeding from comments during a recent round of consultations, one by one, weighed in and eventually agreed that the changes which also establish a police and defense service commission are good for the Turks and Caicos Islands. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.